Damian Lewis with Prep Sports Nation here at the Georgia State Panther Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia for day number two of the Corky Kell Classic. Game number one, the Buford Wolves taking on the Tucker Tigers. And for the second year in the row, the Buford Wolves open up their season with a win here at the Corky Kell Classic. 40 to 14, your final score. Darian Brown for Buford. Four touchdowns, three on the ground, one in the air. Let's check out some of those highlights from tonight's game. Tigers and Wolves ready to rumble in this one as Buford and Tucker setting things off. Day two of the Corky Kell Classic. First quarter, no score. And it's all about the defense in this one. Here, Buford defense stuffing out the run. And then later, Tucker's defense putting in some work themselves. Aaron McLaughlin dropping back for Buford, but nowhere to go as the Tigers take him down. And then again, it's McLaughlin dropping back. Can't find anyone forced to scramble. And the Tigers again taking him down. More defense in this one. This time it's the Wolves stuffing out the run as the Tigers are unable to get things going. And then later, it's Trayvon Ford's pass being tipped. And the Wolves come up with the interception. On to the second quarter, still no score. And it's Darian Brown going to rumble his way into the end zone. Wolves strike first to take a 7-0 lead. Later, all tied up at 7. It's Brown once again punching his way in. And the Wolves take a 14-7 lead. On to the third quarter. It's McLaughlin dropping back. And this time he finds a wide open Brown who races down the sideline, making his way into the end zone for the score. 21-7 lead for the Wolves. Later in the third, 21-14 Buford lead. McLaughlin handing it off to Brown who takes it right up the middle. His fourth touchdown of the game. Wolves take a 28-14 lead. And then once again, McLaughlin dropping back. And he finds Austin Turner who slashes across the field and turns on the burners. He's taking it to the house. 30 5-14 lead for the Wolves. They go on to win by a final of 40-14. Here's Buford coach John Ford after the game on Darian Brown and Tyler McLaughlin's performance. Darian's had a great spring and summer and he works hard in the weight room every day. He works hard in the practice field every day. He's a great leader and so I'm certainly happy he had a great night tonight. He's, he's an awesome kid and he's such a tough kid. Um, there was no panic in him. You know, he just, he's willing to do whatever it takes to move the sticks and move the offense and get us in position and you know, he, he said at halftime, he goes, I'm just going to be a point guard and get it to the right guys. And that's a tailback. That's a tailback. And that's Austin Turner. That's Austin Turner. You know, whatever it takes. And he did a great job, and I'm proud of him. All right, once again, that final score, 40 to 14. The Buford Wolves opening up the season with the win over the Tucker Tigers here at the Corky Kell Classic on day number two, day number three, tomorrow. Full slate of games, five to be exact. From Georgia State Panther Stadium in Atlanta, Georgia, I'm Damian Lewis with Prep Sports Nation.